Hello everyone, so today I'm gonna do a little tutorial about dynamics in general like uh, connectors and uh, and dynamic tags like like rigid bodies and these ones and uh, the connectors so first let's just create floor and create a cube So basically, you can just assign a rigid body to the cube and assign a rigid body to the floor. And for the floor, it's automatically off because it cannot like fall down. If you want to make a plane fall down, you can just create a plane and attach a rigid body to it. So basically, what happens is that just you know thing just falls so that's it the other thing is there is an option and uh, inside the uh, properties of dynamic body which is the mass which is uh, really important for the example I made here if I make the like the mass of the wheel bigger bigger or lower than the the wish bonds it might give a different result and it might not connect properly like uh, it could just you know dis disconnect so let's let's just do an example like a really cool example just create a cube like this create a cylinder do it like that let's reset the rotation of this cube and let's put it to the side by like maybe 200 or 500 let's duplicate that and do the same minus 500 or not there here right now if we drop this oh I should assign uh, a new rigid body to these or I just can control and drag this, this one to this okay so that's happened because these two are intersecting and uh, this one is a rigid body and this one is uh, like uh, dynamics on it is off so we should do the same to the cylinder as well just go to dynamics off let's give some more time now let's change the mass of this one we can control it by density like double the density of it or we can give it value like uh, here custom mass like we give them both 10 and then give this one a little bit more like 50 15 so that's that uh, uh, the other thing that you should know about uh, this dynamic body tag is that you sometimes need to control these options like bounce bounce is exactly what it means it reduces the bouncing and friction is means friction of course i don't think this this one has too much effect we can just turn it off so what we can do here is like keep on Keep one cube, create new plane, just like that. Rotate it a little bit, make it a little bit bigger, pick it up. So if we keep the, let me give that dynamic tag. If we keep the friction as at zero or at 30, I think it's gonna slide. But if we go for like 100, it's gonna resist a little bit but we, if we give the plane as well 100 it's gonna roll down I guess yeah 
so that's really useful sometimes okay so we're done for dynamic tags now let's get to the connectors okay let's um, go to dynamic and drop connector so this one is a hinge it's it's exactly what the, the word says hinge it means uh, like the thing in the door that may, that helps it rotate So what we can do is let's go to the side view Just put this back in zero so that I can see where it is let's Drag this down put it here so the hinge is on the side you can rotate it So this way we can attach, but wait, first we should give this a dynamic tag. Then, then for these options right here, you can just connect two objects any way you want. It doesn't matter which one is A and which one is B. Yeah, so we can just drop it here and see what happens. So that's what, that's what, uh, hinge does just it allows a rotation in one direction we can make this look better by putting a cylinder here now let's see. oh that's that's the first one it has many uses I think I used it here for the the wheels the connection between this and the wheels so that the wheels can rotate moving on so uh, the first one is hinge the second one is cardan well this one is exactly the same as uh, the, the cardan in a car in a car car suspension let me show you exactly like this or like this I don't I don't think I have an example of it I've never done I've never used it before so let's move on let's see ball and socket with this one um, it allows rotation in all directions so if we, for example we put it here let's delete this cylinder if we attach it to the the cube it's already attached the cube can rotate anywhere anywhere it wants and we can put like the plane here to provide it from going down give dynamic tag off so it just you know it goes everywhere okay what else do we have Rush doll. This one is used for characters like uh, it's only allows rotation in a certain angle. I think you can you can understand from what for it from what it looks like. What else we got? Oh, let's skip that. Slider. Uh, this one only allows movement up and down. So if we attach like this cube to it. it show up so if we put this if we put this cube here it's only gonna slide down down and up wait what was that why did it fall okay so the cube is only gonna be allowed to fall down 
and if you want to make them like attach to each other like connect two objects you just do it like I did you put the second object here so right now if I move this the whole thing is gonna move as you can see perfect so there is another connector which is the twist slider this one allows rotation around it not sure if I used it in the, yeah, yeah, yeah yeah I think I did I think I did for the for these things I believe I believe I used it here I'm not sure where the connector is but I'm pretty sure I used it to for this to go up and down okay what else do we have planer and box I don't think these are I, I never used this I think this wheel suspension is worth mentioning this is like you know for cars let's actually create something real quick let's say this is a body of a car let's create some cylinders for the wheels duplicate that give it a negative value on y in positive value just inverse the value duplicate these two take it back let's make this smaller a little bit so right now we can create dynamic connector and put it inside shift c type psr get this thing over here this thing resets the position of the connector inside the the object Let's do the same for these PSR. So let's select all of them and give them wheel, wheel suspension. So basically, obviously, they need to be rotated up but on their own axis. So let's just select them, go to coordinate. Let's see which one. Yeah, I think this is it. Mind Z. Now let's put the hold on. Let's put the cylinder, which is the wheel, on one. And select all of them to put the body of the car inside. And there we go. So right now, let's create a floor. Let's pick this all up. I think it's already working. Oh, we don't. We did not attach dynamic object to it. So let's do it now. Rigid body. Oh, I didn't <laughs> inside the rigid body to the floor. So yeah, that's it. Oh, we didn't talk about motors, which we'll do right now. I think this looks good. We just need to modify parameters in here. Let's go for five in the stiffness, I guess. That looks cool. Or maybe two. And give it 15 dampen. So that it doesn't bounce too much. Now let's create a motor. Let me stop this. Okay, so we can attach the motor to the body. And one part is gonna go to the we need two motors by the way one part is gonna be in body let's select both of them both of the motors and put the body inside and now let's go let's uh, use these this and this let's make it select the first I select the motor and put the cylinder inside the same thing for the other one let's touch them to the same one let's do this so i think we're done let's 
so for the motors you can modify the torque which gives it more more power Let's go like 500 and I think it's it's slight too much because the friction is low let's select everything and go for friction 100 there you go so what these connectors allow you to do also you can rotate you can like steer using them if you do if you go to the steering angle you must hit play first then steering angle let's go 30 so you can steer you can animate using this or you can just use espresso like it did here to to uh, steer using something like this Uh oh so yeah I think that's it if you are interested in another example like this one or anything that has dynamics on it just comment it down below thank you for watching I'll see you guys next time